All right, another episode of Lion Brew. Today we are bottling my Golden Cross. Golden Bitter it is. It's, uh, already uh, reached gravity a few days ago, so I've just left it in here. And uh, over here, I'm doing the most fun activity in all of the world, cleaning bottles. So I've got 500 milliliter bottles here, and about 11 liters of beer. So I need about 22 bottles, probably a bit less because of the yeast on the bottom, but we'll do 22 just to be safe because you don't want to get halfway through bottling and then have to wash the bottle up. So yeah, so what I'm doing with these, they've all had a good Rinse, yeah, have a look at this one, it's quite a light bottle, so inside, let me see, Ooh, let's have a look, no, not bad, lovely and clean, obviously remove the labels, I've been uh, doing this a while, so how many have we got here, let's go, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, uh, 22, there we go, Two extras are needed. So well, now I've uh, given these all a good old rinse, clean out inside. I like to sterilize them with some kettle water. Sterilize the lid bits because they get dusty in the garage. I already pre-warmed the bottles a bit with some hot, like not hot water, but warm water so they don't shatter. around that rim, yeah. Kill any bugs. You don't want any nasties in the beer, because this is the final stage before the beer is finished. And after all that, two weeks of waiting, all the brewing, and then you have to put these in there and wait another two weeks for them to carve up. You don't want an infected beer. So there we go. They're all there. Get a well used bottle brush but it's nice and clean again. Just stick these inside the bottles. Tight fit but, but you want it to be tight because it scrubs all the inside of the bottles. And when you've done that, over here I've got my sanitizer. I am using Chemsan to sanitize my bottles. So once I've had a good rinse they're all clean of dirt then you need this, and this will like get all any germs and stuff and make it inhospitable to any of those things in it. I always pre make this and make a big five litre batch because it actually lasts for ages. And um, making a new one each thing was each brew day, each bottling day, cost me a ton of money. So, yeah, do that. And then once these are done, da -da -da. You stick them in here, give them a good rinse around, and that'll sanitize it. Now you just let them dry, it's no rinse as well, so you don't actually. Let's have a look. Self foaming sanitizer, no rinse when used at prescribed dilution rate, which all says on the bottle. It's got a little handy bit here. See, 10 milliliters there and 5 liters of water. There you go. And yeah, once we've done that, give them a good old rinse out, let them dry a bit, ready to bottle. Right, now we've got all the bottles, doubly and clean, all nice and dried out. Well, mostly dry, and it's pretty dry to be honest. I've got my beer, here's ready. And I've sanitized this little thing which is absolutely amazing bottling wand and what it does little stopper on the end here Ooh, missing my finger and the beer goes into it and then you push that into the bottom and all the liquid flows, flows through it so you don't have to keep turning the tap on and off every time you do a bottle so some people like to bulk 
tub, um, add sugar in a bulk to stir it around, but I've always found I get uneven bottles, so some are fizzy, some aren't. So what I do is I get my little scales. There we go. And I just put a bit of sugar in each bottle. So I'm doing a bitter. We want it kind of lightly carbonated. So I'm going for 1.7 grams of sugar per bottle. Oh, gosh. Way over, 2.3. So pour some of that out. Start again, actually. Come on. Work with me here. 1.6. 1.75, that will do. Slightly over. But yeah, so there we go. See that? Stick it into a bottle. 22 more like that and we'll start filling them up. Right, all the bottles are now filled with sugar. It's time to bottle them. It's just as simple. Sticking the bottle in there. And then you press on the tap. And it'll fill from the bottom. thing about these bottling ones as well is when it gets to the top of the bottle pull the tube out and leaves a nice little bit of headspace for the gas make sure you keep pressing it though we seem to stop last little bit right to the top that's a bottle done. 22 of those, and we'll cap them. Right, so all the bottles are now filled, and we're left with this rather disgusting looking yeast cake on the bottom. What I like to do is I jar them up, and then I will save that in the fridge for another brew because it's just yeast and in fact there's a hell of a lot more yeast in here than there is in the packs you buy so essentially do that a few times you save yourself a load of money and you get really good quality yeast because it's been in there like feeding off all of the sugars in your beer and just being really healthy and like in the perfect environment for them, so there's that. And also, because today's a brew day as well as a bottling day, I've got my lovely brew here, porter. I'm using the same yeast, so I might as well throw that beer straight onto the yeast. And it's like a giant starter then for the for the beer. Should be lovely. Right, there we go. 18 full bottles. And a little just under tester bottle. Probably a bit yeasty that one, but that'll be to check the carbonation in two weeks. So what you do with these, you get a bottle cap, so it'd be all flat like this. So you put it on, and then when you press it, obviously, It'll push the sides down like that one. Using this little contraption. Stick that on top of the bottle and you push down on the levers. That's your beer bottle. They're quite stiff. Good old push on them. There we go. Bam. Bottle. And what I do is I give these a little twist to make sure they're tight. So a few times, I come to open a beer, it's been flat. I found the cap's not been on properly. And all the gas has escaped. So, another thing you don't want 
after, you know, all the time and care you've taken brewing, washing all these bottles. When you come to open it, flat, stale old beer. So yeah, that's that, bottled. 18 and a half bottles. I'll stick those in my crate here. And leave it alone for two weeks to carve up. Then we'll try one. So that was bottling day. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I really didn't because bloody hell it's boring. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you in two weeks. If you like the video, give me a like. Subscribe, click the little bell on the top, you know, all that jazz. I'll see you soon.